Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. In this video today I am getting ready um, to host small group tomorrow and so basically what that is is that we are part of a small group in our church and we get together um, with other people and um, basically have dinner and um, usually do some kind of study. And so there could be anywhere from maybe 8 to 10 people to 20, 25 people that come to my house tomorrow for this. Um, our small group is rather large, and so that's why um, I needed to do a few things to get ready for it. So you'll see that we um, just opened up our table. Usually what happens with our small group is we have dinner, which is kind of different than any other small group that we've been a part of but I actually really like it and so I usually cook dinner for everyone and all the women will go into the dining room at whoever house we're at and everybody will sit around the dining room and all the men will go into the living room and everybody will eat kind of in their separate quarters I guess you could say and then we all come together to do the study that we're doing so it was really funny we had to um, un, you know make the table a little bit bigger and in the midst of this, of course, my husband thinks that the other small table is a little bit wobbly, and so he is on the floor trying to fix that. And I really wanted to kind of clear out my dining room and get some space because I know like once everybody's sitting around my table, it just feels so compact in that room. So I was trying to do a few little touches um, to try to make more space in the room. So you'll see like I really just had to pick up all of this homeschool stuff that had just piled up um, that we hadn't put away and I kind of used this filing system and I ended up um, just kind of putting it over there in the corner because I needed to use those bar stools um, for more seating and I feel like that was a little bit out of the way. I could have put it in my spare room but um, I really didn't want to lug it back out. So I thought this was the best option actually and so now my table technically will seat like eight and there's usually about that many women it usually kind of works out and honestly y'all like I'll stand in the corner I just want everybody to be happy and have a good time but I love having company to my house it is so much fun to me and um, getting ready for company kind of gives me an excuse to do things like put away these Santas that are three months late right do you guys have has this ever happened to you where you have Christmas decorations um, still hanging around? These are actually super special. My grandmother had them made and I want to say early 90s. Um, and they've, you know, been around as long as I was a child. And then um, I've had them since my son was small. And so uh, for some reason I always bag them up and then I put them in plastic tubs. And somebody had thrown away my t um, plastic bags and had used my tubs. Fun husbands. But I um, I got those finally put away, so that's a major accomplishment. And got all the little things off the floor, which is like a huge accomplishment in itself because my son notoriously spills our whole punch. I have no idea why. Um, so there's usually little pieces of paper on the floor all the time, but that's okay, right? And um, so I just wanted to kind of go now and like give everything a really thorough cleaning with having a lot of that stuff taken out of the room. And so there'll be lots of places to walk. And I also, you'll see me, I'll go around and I'll make sure that like everybody can get through because once you have like a plate and a drink and everything, you know, sometimes you don't want to... Um, you want to try to maximize the space as much as possible and this is the best way I've found so far. So um, I will try to be quiet. I know you guys know I'm a talker but I will try to be quiet and um, you guys can enjoy the music and I'll just pop on every once in a while.
So when I'm preparing for a company, I usually try to think of what my company is actually going to see and where they're going to be at and where they're going to be sitting and things like that. Everybody's going to walk through my front door, so I always try to um, wipe down my storm door because everybody's going to see that, so they'll see all the fingerprints and everything like that. I always clean the bathrooms right before. This is actually the night before, and I've done it actually maybe an hour or two before because this is actually the bathroom that my son uses, and you guys know if you have kids, especially boys, um, they're not the cleanest all the time. You kind of have to go behind them and make sure that everything is really clean. And so I wait until kind of the last minute usually and do a really good cleaning. So then I can just check it about 15 minutes before everybody's supposed to come and make sure, you know, everything's okay and there's nothing um, out of the ordinary. But I think it's really important to have a clean bathroom. I think it's really important to have a fresh hand towel. Um, and I usually actually put up a regular hand towel with a little washcloth because I hate going to people's houses and you go to wash your hands and the hand towel is wet from the fact that somebody else just washed their hands. And so I started putting paper towels in there for this reason as well. And I really, really like that better. And that's just kind of my pet peeve thing, but that's okay. And, um, but I think it's very important to make sure that your bathroom's clean. People definitely um, look at things like that. And always make sure like there's soap and there's stuff to dry your hands. There is a ton of toothpaste in the sink and you cannot see it on camera. It's so funny to me because it is terrible and there was a bunch of like beard hair because my husband actually gets ready in this bathroom in the morning as well. Um, he's super, super nice and he won't wake me up because he gets up so early to go to work. Um, so he'll actually go across the house and get ready in this bathroom. Uh, so it was really funny. There was actually tons of stuff in that sink and I wanted to kind of point that out because I know sometimes that on camera you can't really see that it's really dirty and actually I felt like my toilet was very dirty as well um, but it does not show up on camera so it's kind of like the good with the bad um, but just so you guys know I mean this is real life and this is just you know how it goes and I really try to like thoroughly clean um, especially the commode. I really try to go and clean the um, the bottom down around the back and all that because it gets so dusty. I don't know if your guys is, does this too, but mine gets so dusty. And I ended up um, really trying to like wipe down actually back behind that and everything because my mop takes, it just doesn't get back there like I would really want it to. So um, I kind of did um, a little bit of that as well. So I used up all my Clorox wipes, but you know, that is perfectly okay because everything is clean now.
a huge cleaning person um, regardless of my videos it's not something that I'm like oh yeah I want to do this every day because it's a lot of work like to be honest and it's exhausting but I love the results and that's what I live for I live for the reward I live for the results and you cannot lie with these results it just makes me feel so good inside and it gives me so much motivation to go on to the next room or the next task and it's really just a mind game that I play I swear the other thing I want to tell you guys about in this video is that if you have been putting off on putting together some decor or a project use the fact that company's coming as a deadline like this tear tray that I got at Hobby Lobby a few days ago oh my gosh I really wanted to put something on it make myself a little tea station and this was the perfect time to get that done before people came. I did put out these candlesticks that my mom sent me and there's one right here and I put one on my fireplace as well and I really loved the way those turned out and I liked um, actually the, the color of the wood interestingly enough. Here is another area that you might not have thought of that you really have to make sure that you clean for company and it's where your trash is. Sounds crazy and ridiculous, but most of the time, like when you have a large group of people, everybody's eating off paper plates, that's just kind of how it goes nowadays. Even if they don't have paper plates, like, you know, people usually are throwing something away, like napkins, things like that. Um, you know, just anything, they're usually going to visit your trash can. It sounds crazy and ridiculous, but think about it. Like if you go to somebody's house, like more often than not, you know, you will see their trash can, have to throw something away, things like that. So this was a space that was just super cluttered and for me just had tons of trash on the floor for some reason. Nobody can make it in the trash can and I really wanted to wipe down my baseboards and um, really go into my grout and make sure that was all done and looked a lot better because uh, this is just an area of my house that kind of gets neglected a little bit because I will clean everything and then you know I have to wait for somebody to take the trash out and things like that so I love the way it looks at the end doesn't that look amazing so much better it's so great as you guys can tell on this particular day I actually washed my bath mats and that's something I do usually about uh, once a week. Lately I've been doing it about once every two weeks. It just has not been happening for me. But as long as I get it done, that's okay. I always do make sure that I have adequate number of towels. Towels meaning like dish towels, but also regular towels. Because you just never know when like there's going to be a spill. There's going to be um, somebody's going to knock something over. Um, somebody, it's just those random things that you need towels for. And it's just so embarrassing to like have to pull out your old kind of ratty dish towels because all your other towels are in the wash. And so that's kind of a weird thing to think about, but it is the reality of hosting. So um, that was the last thing I did was I got all of that laundry done and put those um, bath mats back in my bathroom. Thank you guys for coming over and hanging out with me. I hope that this gave you some much needed cleaning motivation. We all need motivation here and there in our lives. And I hope this gave you some things to think about when the next time that you are hosting um, a crowd at your house as well. Always remember that there is always a solution to the problem. There's always a way that you can make life easier and better for yourself. And remember that you are loved and you are worthy and to hold yourself to a standard of grace. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a video. I usually upload cleaning videos on Sunday and Wednesday. And I am trying to upload other videos in between as well. So I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.